child has the natural ability to solve puzzles, but all it takes is for the child to have an adult to provide words of encouragement and few simple tips and his brain will do the rest. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you 8 simple tips to help motivate your little one to put together puzzles easily. These 8 tips have worked for us, they have helped motivate our little one to put together puzzles, even 48 piece puzzles easily. So I'm 100% confident that these simple tips will certainly help motivate your little one to put together puzzles easily. So watch this video till the end and I promise this would be worth your time. So my tip number one is to start with something simple. If you're working with an infant, start with one piece puzzles and then you can work your way up to two, four, six piece puzzles. Preferably go for the ones that have picks on them because your little one would find it easy to hold them. But if you're working with a child who's a bit older, then start with simple puzzles that are meant for his age. Um, but the most important thing to do is when you choose the puzzles, choose the theme that your child is already interested in. So that is my tip number two. Tie the puzzles with your child's natural interest. Like if your child is interested in cars, go with car puzzles. And if, or if your child is interested in Barbie dolls, blindly go for it. Because if you do that, chances are your child would not only be motivated to do the puzzle, but will thoroughly enjoy the whole process. By the way, you can use this simple trick of tying up learning with your child's natural interest to help your child learn anything. Try it the next time and you will be simply amazed at how quickly your child learns and how he enjoys the whole learning process. My tip number three is to encourage your child to look for the missing piece. Because things will not only get simple and easy but so interesting if you encourage your child to look around for the missing piece. Because I feel that kids are naturally inclined to get a kick out of looking for and finding the missing piece. Moreover, if you encourage your child to look for the missing piece, you would help your child learn that when something goes missing, he or she can find it if he or she looks for it. A great life lesson, don't you think? So the next time you put together a puzzle, like a car puzzle, and you need a piece of a tire, say something like, vroom, vroom, please find my tire, I want to go vroom, vroom, please, please. I know this sounds silly, but being dramatic, especially around kids, work like a charm so don't forget to replace your boring monotonous tone of voice with something more lively and uh, dramatic to effortlessly increase your child's interest to look for the missing piece or to put together the puzzle my fourth tip is to sort by position and color this is such an important trick to learn to piece together any type of puzzles easily. So help your child learn the difference between corner pieces, outer pieces, and middle pieces, and encourage your child to sort them. Once you help your child learn the difference, encourage your child to sort especially the middle pieces, the center pieces, by color. Because if you help your child learn this trick, putting together puzzles would be a piece of cake for your child. My fifth tip, which is my favorite, is give your child loads of encouragement. Remember when your child took his first few steps? I'm sure you were so happy. And even though your little one fell down many times, hurt himself, or even cried, I'm sure you stood there cheering him, saying words of encouragement, and asking him to keep trying again and again. I guess we all should approach everything in life the same way and puzzles are no different. So the next time when your child gets the wrong piece and it doesn't fit, I'm sure he will get frustrated. I'm sure he would want to give up. But as a facilitator, encourage your child to look around until he gets it right. Yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. Just try with something else. Good. See? yourself immediately or say discouraging words in front of your child on the contrary if your child gets it right say wow did you just fix it did you just find it give me a high five good job let me tell you something especially with kids little words of encouragement like these go a long long way my sixth tip is to believe 
This tip is more for the parent who is the facilitator than for the child. So as a parent, believe that your child can do it. Because we all know that up until a certain age, our children are our reflection. Whether we realize it or not, our thoughts and our actions directly, not indirectly, but directly affect them. So don't think your child can't do it or it would be difficult for your child because you would pass on that pessimistic mindset to your child. But instead, believe it will be easy for your child. Believe that your child has the natural ability to do stuff because that is the truth. My seventh tip is to have patience. I agree there will be days your child would not want to go anywhere near the puzzle. You know, don't force. If you can spark interest at that moment, Respect is no. No does not mean that I don't want to do puzzles ever again. It means that I'm not in the mood to do it right now. Maybe tomorrow. So try it the next day or try when your child is in a happy mood or just sit next to him and do the puzzles yourself because children by nature are what? Curious little monkeys. I might get curious to come watch what you're doing and who knows you might spark that interest and have your child actually sit down with you and do the puzzle. The eighth tip is make it fun. Don't turn puzzles into a serious activity. Because not only children, but even we adults enjoy doing stuff. Even stuff that are really boring or really difficult when there is fun involved. So as I already mentioned, change your tone of voice. Sound lively, sound dramatic because it is so magical and it is so contagious. Hey, I hope you like this video. If you do so, give me a thumbs up. If you found this video useful, share it with your friends so they can be benefited as well. If you want to watch uh, more videos like these, subscribe to my channel, Learn and Grow with Grace. I'll see you all soon. Till then, take care and bye. And then we are. I can't. I, I can't.